Hey there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Get Smart 1965 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us, and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Barbara Feldon played the character number 99 in the TV series when she was 32 years old in 1965. Fast forward to today, she's a lively 90-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Yes. I um, thought you'd want to get right out to Professor Dante's laboratory at Cravehaven. Good. I spoke to Zelinka, that's his assistant. She's expecting us. I was in New York. I'd been there about a year, and my dad had said, you have to be on your own. I'm not, don't come to me for money. You're a grown-up. And I did very well for a number of months. Do- Edward Platt played the character Chief. He was 49 years old when the TV series ran in 1965. Sadly, on March 19, 1974, he left us due to suicide at the age of 58 in Santa Monica, California. His passing deeply saddens us. Serious? Are you completely insane? One question at a time, Chief. <laughs> Max, raise the cone of silence. You're not angry, are you, Chief? How would you? F- Unfortunately, in Los Angeles now, that kind of film is relatively looked down on. I don't mean that they're not making them; they're making some of them. Walt Disney always makes good films like that. Robert Carvelas played Larrabee in the TV series when he was 45 years old in 1965. December 5th, 1991, was a tough one. He left us due to lung cancer at 70 years old in Los Angeles County, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Stop that. We only have a certain amount of air in here, and you're using it all up. You use your half the way you want, and I'll use mine the way I want. (laughs) The chief's car. Larry, be quick. Follow that car. Right in six. Bernie Coppell played the character Siegfried. He was 32 years old when the TV series ran in 1965. Here he is, at a cool 90, chilling in Brooklyn, New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. I could do, considering you always bought my newspaper. I see. And now that the subscription has expired, along with the professor, I take it you have no further than they do the, the love boat thing, although they do love the love boat thing. Siegfried's look. Now, you mentioned you were 33 when this break came. So Siegfried... Don Adams played Maxwell Smart in the TV series when he was 42 years old in 1965. It's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that on September 25th, 2005, he left us after a lung infection at 82 in Beverly Grove, Los Angeles, California. We're really filling the loss. It begins in a half hour. All you have to do is get across the street. No problem, 99. There's a crosswalk there and everything. <laughs> Max, chaos is bound to try to kill you. Because... We only have two seats on the whole plane. They're in first class up against the oh, yes, boards sir. there. You know, the two well, separate seats, right the bulkheads. I said, can I transfer my ticket? He said, of course you th- David Ketchum played the character Agent 13. He was 37 years old when the TV series ran in 1965. Check it out. At 96 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Quincy, Illinois. 13. 86. Anything to report? Top secret. New bright white pepsin with zirconium silicate gets teeth bright white. Gotcha. King Moody played Starker in the TV series when he was 36 years old in 1965. It's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that on February 7th, 2001, he left us after natural causes at 71 in Tarzana, Los Angeles, California. We're really filling the loss. Uh, What happened to the dogs? Well, do you remember the prisoner who escaped in the woods last week? Milton Seltzer played the character Parker. He was 47 years old when the TV series ran in 1965. Sadly, on October 21st, 2006, he left us due to pulmonary and stroke complications at the age of 87 in Oxnard, California. 
His passing deeply saddens us. Down ladies sing this song. Do-da, do-da, Hamtown racetrack, five miles long. Oh, da do-da day. Gonna run all night, gonna run all day. Dick Gautier played the character Jaime in the TV series when he was 34 years old in 1965. January 13th, 2017 was a tough one. He left us after a long illness at 85 years old in Arcadia, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. What would you like to do? I'd like to work for IBM. Oh, because of your scientific curiosity. No, it's a nice way to meet some intelligent machines. <laughs> Further clarity, <laughs> further clarity. And from then it became, let's do one more for Father Clarity. <laughs> William Scallert played Admiral Hargrade in the TV series when he was 43 years old in 1965. Sadly, on May 8, 2016, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 93 in Pacific Palisades, California. His passing deeply saddens us could be, and uh, a real tough street guy. But they got along well because Patty had grown up on the, on the uh, upper... Howard Kane played the character Betty Yoskin. He was 39 years old when the TV series ran in 1965. December 28, 1993 was a tough one. He left us due to a heart attack at 67 years old in North Hollywood, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Brian O'Byrne played the character Hodgkins. He was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1965. It's with a heavy heart that I have to tell you that on December 4th, 2009, he left us after natural causes at 78 in Pacifica, California. We're really feeling the loss. All right, let's chat. Who is your absolute favorite character from Get Smart? Jump into the comments and spill the beans below this video. And as usual, show some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.